So this is Pofic art. And we are working on my uh, altered book right now. It is going to be rainbow themed. So I'm going to do the introduction page. And we're mainly going to be working out of this, uh, which is scrapbooking paper, since it's easiest to do rainbow themed with scrapbooking paper and stuff. I don't have a plan just yet. Ooh, I do know. I want to use this sticker here. Uh, it's a sticker that I made. That is all I know so far. Let's get started, I guess. First things first is I'm going to make the background. This is going to be the central focus. There we go. Maybe you guys will be able to see better now. Excuse my mess, I need to re-update my organizational system. You guys might move, uh, depending on how well this video turns out. And once I get that organizational system reset up, then uh, I'll see where you guys fit best. I should put some white. Because you guys are in a very awkward position right now, but it's the way my room is set up and my crafting supply set up. This is the best spot for you. So, we will see. This is kind of shiny. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> mm. Don't really like that. Let's just put this one down since I know I like it. And my glue stick ran out of glue. Here we go. Now, I want that polka dot one now, and it went flying, so I have to go get it. I'm sorry. I like it there. But I want something here. Maybe we could, that's what we could use this white for. covers up too much of my rainbow hearts that I like. Yeah, let's go with that. Then let's put down these polka dots. And there is this side. 
the background is done. So now I need to work on this side's background. Let's see. Maybe I should use some of that sprinkle paper. No, that's going to take away too much from this like I thought earlier. Do I have any other rainbows? I have that one, but that one's going to have the same problem, except this one's more busy than this one. Some flowers. Mm, that doesn't really match my theme that I have going on, so maybe I will just use the polka dot again. Ooh, I do like that there. Now the problem is, is this part right here. Yeah. Put this down. Now I typically do junk journaling and so using these bot papers are is actually abnormal for me to do. But I got all these on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I thought I would use them. And I felt like I really wanted to do rainbow in this book. I did not set this book up to do rainbow, but after thinking about it and seeing all my new paper, I decided that I was going to do some rainbows. I like rainbows. And see, look, that piece of paper fits perfectly right there. So let's use it. And then there's that background done. There are our backgrounds. I know I want to use this sticker. I also have some more homemade stickers in here. Um, let's see. There's a sticker. Hmm. The rest really don't aren't calling for me, so I do kind of want to see if I can use this Distressed Oxide again. I tried to play around with it earlier, but I bought these because these were cheaper and um, than the brushes, but I kind of regret doing that. Maybe the brushes would work around the same. I'm not sure. Maybe this is just a medium that I do not like that much. Which would be okay. Oh, but that piece is coming up again. Well, there's some purple. I like the vibrancy it brings. Let's stick this piece back down. What do I got up here? Okay. I am not sure where I want to go from here. I just know that this is going to be my focal point. Maybe I should put... And maybe some of the sprinkles. Not that big. To help uh, distinguish that this is going to be the focal point. Yeah, I like that, but I 
Why is the torn side better? I really like that purple on it. Well, let's go ahead and glue this down since I like it. I like to do what's called collage clusters. I learned it from Meg Journals on YouTube. So I liked that there. Ooh. Maybe more like that. And then maybe this right here. Yeah, I like that. Right there, right? A little over. Yes, like that. Put you here. Yes. And see, this is a sticker that I made. This is uh, some watercolor flowers that I did. Let's see if I can unstick it from its paper. But all I did was I painted some watercolor flowers. I painted them in a rainbow. There's the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, and the purple. And I painted it this way because my cousin and I are going to be going to an art walk. And her theme is pride. And so I went ahead and made some pride stickers to go along with her uh, theme. So I made some rainbow stickers. I am so proud of my cousin. And to be quite honest, I am also proud of myself. Now I can't see that there. There we go. I like that there. Maybe bring some more of the purple around it. Yeah, I like that. Since we're doing purple, I got these stamps. Oh. Is this stamp already out of ink? No, it's not. Just doesn't want to show. Oh, then here's my kitty. Well, I'm going to have to cover that up somehow. Look up! Freya! Freya! Well, I have this little tiny piece. Maybe this little tiny piece will cover that up. It's like nothing ever happened. I've never used this stuff before. It's the gold foil flakes. Never used it before, but I would like to. I think that would look cool and help my sticker stand out. So let's see if I can figure out how to. First, I gotta pet my lovely cat first. Hi. So lovely. Let's see if it, this glue stick will help hold it down. Want it there? Yeah. 
So you just put some glue or something down to hold it down and then you take it and you kind of spread it. I got glue on my fingers and so it's sticking to my fingers because if I could let go of it I had this brush here So there's that gold flakes. Ooh, yeah, that really looks nice. Now let's stick this sticker down and maybe we will be done with this page. Maybe we need to do something over here though. Oh, but now I'm getting gold flakes and ink on my sticker because I got it on my hands. And let's see, should I do something over here? Um, let's see. What do I got? Ooh, I got this gold tape as well. Um, happy day. I got this tape and I really like it. Let's see. I like these two right here. It says, beautiful, please believe in yourself. And then shine bright. May you be faithful to yourself, live earnestly and laugh freely. So there's that one. It's kind of uh, like self affirmations in my altered book. I mean, I'm having trouble with these stickers today. Let's try this one. That one does not want to come undone for me. There we go. Mm. Let's place you right there. I cannot get this to open up for me. Oh, there we go. And then this one right here. This is the beautiful, please believe in yourself. And this one's the shine bright. May you be faithful to yourself. Live earnestly and laugh freely. Well, I think that's what it says because there is a typo at the end, it looks like. <laughs> All right, let me get this cleaned up and then I will show you the final product. All right, so this is the start of my uh, altered book. This is the cover of it. The spine in the back. The back doesn't have anything on it yet. Just saving that for later. And then here's the introduction page. This is the page that we worked on together here. And then here are the pages that I did earlier today to help kind of decide what theme I wanted to go with for this altered book. Um, I went ahead and I placed some paper down throughout the book to uh, help uh, with prompting me to uh, what to do on the page. 
Some of them might uh, get covered up and some of them might not be. But uh, this is the final result. I really like it. I really like the purple on it. I wish I got the brushes, even though they were more expensive. See if those worked better. Um, but yeah, have a good day.